Hello everyone, this is your Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Gongsunzan campaign. We pick things up for episode 9 from turn 89 in the spring season of 208. So it's spring, uh, that means we have reforms and all that good stuff. And I think what we were trying to do is build up our economy. We took this route for a level 3 state workshop. We might as well push it to level 4 private workshop and maybe even farther down this line uh, a bit later but right now private workshop is pretty good we do have quite a bit of commerce all around so that's a lot of buildings we can build uh, we also have access to our faction council which will increase in terms of number of members once we reach the marquee's rank we have three points to spend here i think we will just get three administrators all administrator character salary decrease so the administrators themselves will be cheaper i'll take a look to see if the inspectors also get the same discount i would imagine they would as well uh, the final one is still administrator salary decrease um, which is fine because at that point we would have about maybe close to 15 administrators so that's still a decent chunk of money uh, we don't have enough land to make use of all those administrators right now but we will we also need to put a couple of guys right here. Now, uh, Zhang Fei is in the position where we can shift him. He goes from peasantry to uh, farming. Just because I don't really need that boost. It's not really uh, going to make sense for us in terms of economy. And who else do I want to shift up? I guess we will... Well, Guo Jia will become prime minister when he gets the chance. Um, but right now... Maybe Liu Yu for now, since he's old, he might die. As a Grand Tutor, he would work quite well. The bonus is not good. I'm only interested in his offer in terms of Faction Council positions. I can lock them to being tired. I don't really care, to be honest. Zhang Fei skill reset. Hmm. Oh. It's not terrible, to be honest. It's not... Not super good. Like maybe we can use we, we don't need to use Guile. But is it worth a reroll though? Ooh, I like this. Dingjo Dingjo is in Tang Wu. Although I I don't think I can hold it, so defending it's not an option, so I guess we won't do that. Can we get some other options, maybe? It's always going to be Ding Zhou. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. I can lock Xiao Hou Yuan's army movement. Zhang Fei is our new character, so he's the one who get... Uh, I don't like any of these. Hmm. Let's take a couple campaign actions and see if we can alter them a little bit. So Zhao Yun's army did his job. They're ruined. So I'm gonna recall him for now. They just took that, so they need to turn to take a break. We're getting hit with what? Hostile territory? Well it's not hostile anymore. We'll just be taking that. Alright, this helps us root Nobe out of most of this position. We just gotta get rid of this and keep climbing. We see a lot of Sun Quan's territory. Um, we're gonna keep pushing. We're gonna get the copper mine. We're gonna get this town. The town be a good defensive positioning to guard. Um, we won't grab that. We won't grab that. The mine will also be a great position to defend. And then we can turn our attention over here. That's going to be where we're going to push out next. Extending our eastern front maybe all the way up. Maybe we just keep the army pushing um, after we sweep through these two. Now the only awkward thing is I, ha I will have to like go left and then go right. I can't make a nice circle motion here to get everything. Oh well. That's what we have. That's what we're going to do. The Emperor's Aid ends in two turns. We gotta get ready for that. Who is unhappy? Why are you unhappy? Lack of purpose? Well, we'll summon you. Um, 
I can't summon them here, but I could proxy them into... Well, I guess we would just have to defend. I guess we'll summon you guys here. Because there's a couple armies coming, and we could definitely use some help. And they are burned officers here. I think she is one. Yes. And we have another one. Her. And both of them are a bit unhappy. We're going to get rid of the retinue. Now the mine itself is not well protected. So they're going to need someone to cover them. Both of them don't have resiliency as well. So that's pretty dangerous actually putting them here. I want to... Hopefully it doesn't work well. Our son... Our son's pretty strong actually. And has really good capture chance. Zhao Yun would be ideal, but he would have to wait a turn. I don't know if we have a turn to wait. I mean, with a cavalry unit here, we could just kite it out in case they come. Siege weapons. Cao Cao's army is doing a great job blocking them from entering this area. Yeah, let's just keep them here for now. I think they'll be fine. Yeah, make sure no one's invading us. Hmm. Can we upgrade it to have walls? I think we can. Um, let's see if anything has changed. Yeah, let's sabotage Telsal's army. He's sieging us right now. I... I don't think a thousand's worth it for his skill tree, so I'm going to pass on that. They'll bounce back because I'm giving them something to do. I'm going to pass on this one because I don't want to take that land. Don't care about the experience boost. I will take this bonus. This is a nice one. Although I could have used the redeployment cost when I was actually redeploying. Ah, Yuzin took that crushing defeat. And got ourselves into Tal Tal's faction, plus three defense there. Let's see, we're not gonna pull him right off the bat, because uh, we got him secured. We're gonna use him to see who Oh Yan Yu joined him. Tal Pi's of age, Tai Shi Tzu, got, we knocked him out as well earlier. Okay, what we're gonna do... Wow, everyone's so happy, even him. I mean, if we capture Tal's Hall, then you guys know what's coming up. Yeah, right now, no one's really useful. We'll let him grow a couple points while he's here. We'll probably shift another one over. It's so hard to gain these. And we'll just let him sit here for a bit. We'll pay for his salary. No big deal. Uh, we are poor, but we're not that poor. Any other faction we had to declare war on? Nope. That is it. I th think that is pretty much all we can do. We can boost ourselves back into the top tier bonus. Uh, we can't really deal with many of the rebellions. I mean, sure, the rebels can come join the fight if they want. If they want to fight Tall Tall, they can as well. Uh, the reserves actually bouncing back here. We are upgrading this because this is no longer going to be frontier. So we're going to get this into a regular build. And everywhere else is ready building. Now highest rebels can fight us anytime. Ejo having another rebel group spawn is just fine as well. No one can really touch us here. Alright, I think that's it. Let's continue. Alrighty, it's our turn to get hit. Settlement. Now high is gonna lose all its supplies. Mulsun Zan is gonna end up losing some replenishment. Is that it? Only two. Oh, you there with a the nice armor. What faction did you leave? Liu Yan? Ah, who controls the armor craftsman. That makes sense. It's gold. Hello. Welcome to the faction. 
He's willing to spy, so he's not a spy. Well, we're gonna take your stuff and then I'm gonna take a look at you. Uh, pretty bad. Goodbye. Thank you for the armor. Alright, Tao Tao got smart, or he pulled away. I, I guess you can call that smart. Where else? He's running around. Tao Tao's on the field, but she's the faction leader, so she will not leave. And if I destroy her faction, she will have a grudge against us. So that's not good either, if we want to see her. So hopefully someone else will destroy her faction. Meanwhile, no one hit this army with anything. Now that's good. Oh, they swap places so he can actually attack us now. Well, we're gonna add Zhao Yun to the party. Zhao Yun will probably lead the party. And uh, we'll set ourselves up at this choke. And say hi to uh, Liu Chong's army, who probably definitely have fire weapons. Nope. Nope. No. F oh, there's one. So he's going to burn up the whole encampment if we do fight, and that's fine. But what do we do with this army? It seems like we're holding a defensive position here along these two territories. I don't think I'm... A I mean, I'm really interested in these two but I don't know how we can defend these two they're much harder to defend than these two so the logical thing for us to do actually is maybe we take the assignment attacking the copper mine and then just let them keep pushing that way that way we each have pretty well defined task Why is the movement so weird? Like, I see this much movement, but clearly we don't have that much movement. Right, I think we'll take the city first, get ourselves another administrator, another army limit spot, and then we'll move down to Linhai. Take these two. After this is taken, we can set up a defense here, and then this will wait for Yan Baihu's army. Alright, I think that's good. This is the last turn where we have this aid, and that's probably where we will summon... We have a spot for another army, yes we do. Zhengjiang, not attacking us. Rebel, no item. We'll just let them hang out. The rebel is going to help us fix our public order when they hang out like that. The only thing I'm considering is like, where do we want to recruit? Where do we have our military uh, inspector? Where are you? That's where it's cheapest. He's in Lingling. Oh, okay. He's here. So Tao Tao, take a look at our armies. Um, Drown Fate, redeployment, uh, right, so this is probably good. He will offer a lot of instinct. I'm not using him for any actual recruitment purposes. You can get your weapons back, I'm sorry. I, this, it's, you know, you understand. This this is dangerous, you, you're in a bad place right now. Crushing defeat and death of your friends are weighing on you. You have rivalry with our leader. Hard for us to trust you. And now that we know we can, we're going to get rid of all your units. We're going to use your instinct for something. We're going to recruit our administrator. Doesn't matter if they don't like each other. And, uh, who has the highest instinct out of the rest of you? Two percent. 3%, okay. Let's boost it a little higher for this turn. We'll let you hold it for a little bit. Alright, instinct boost here. That's all we can do. We're at 5%. Okay. Um, that's really all we need to do here. You. 
how cheap can we get them? 61 <laughs> to get one unit of White Horse Raiders. <laughs> uh, don't mind if I do. And then we're gonna recall this whole unit. You guys will end up with an army. Now, you, you don't actually get to hold on to this. I'm sorry, you can have the cheap version. You lose even your armor. You get it back when we actually use you on the battlefield. Okay, so now Tongwu's retinue is going to be great after next turn. No one can reach us this turn, so we should be fine. I don't want to upgrade and convert. Mm, yeah, we don't have any bonuses for buildings this year, so I'm going to just wait off on that as well. Alright, doing great. Let's continue. Okay, so Liu Tong obviously has not gotten the memo from all the other factions. Now, I didn't want to pull the reinforcement from the garrison. That was not the goal, because that way we don't get as heroic as a defeat for them. Not that I really want this general in particular, but still. Let's go. Start battle. Alrighty, since we all seen Zhao and Empty Fort enough times, I just decided to cut that all out. And obviously, heroic victory. Caught all three. Perceptive. That's a pretty nice retinue, not gonna lie. Um... Could we use her as administrator? Just for 10% peasantry? It's not strong. Hmm. I'll take the item. I could take the item anyway by recruiting her, but I'm not working out a peace deal in the future, so I think we just execute. And you I just release for cash. Got two items, get some more money here. Sima Yi has now joined the game. And we are just going to go attack this. We get to heal one more turn in our territory, which is not enough, but it's, it's okay. It's good enough. Liu Chong summoned himself to replace the army, so that's good. So we actually got him onto the field this way. And we can maybe get a capture of him to force him to maybe drop some of those items. Alright, we're seeing more Nama activities on our borders, which... Which is definitely a concern. But that's why we have this as a full retinue inside of a large town so we can defend against these attacks. Tahuya might get in trouble. I don't think they're friends. We'll see. Ah, oh, you decide to siege. Guess you decide to die. Now, catching these, we'll just release them for cash. They're gonna stay on the field. Do I can I don't I don't get the bonus anymore. After beating them once, we don't get the bonus anymore. So it's better if we actually try to kill them. Maybe we'll summon someone to do that. They're not moving. Alright, Northern Jian will be our defense here. It's level one, which means he has no garrisons. I'm gonna have to uh I don't hate the build I don't hate this building at all, but maybe not the right time for it. Actually, let's keep it. It's fine. It's gonna be peasantry. We'll keep it. Uh, before we upgrade, it's gonna need administrator. We could throw our agricultural one here. Construction for green buildings here would be very good synergy. Uh, we grabbed him for this job in particular, and he's currently not happy with us, so this would be the time. And now things will be cheaper. Now we gotta take a look at him though. Let's see. Flexibility. Uh, he's administrator though, so it's not really that relevant. Like this will probably give us more bonuses and then we can give more speed to the unit. I think that's probably better. I'm trying to select him. He's right here. Good. She's also a administrator. She has the basic skills. I do want the fire arrows. Let's get that first. 
Since you are administrator, we'll give you more expertise. Don't want you to lose expertise if we don't have to. Plus seven result minus, I mean, the expertise is so low. Maybe we should just give up on discounting with him and just use the result for population growth. Well, part of the reason why it's so low is because of the armor. If we solve the armor issue, it goes up by quite a bit for both. Perfect. Perfect. All right. That's taken care of. We really need this upgraded. I might even just increase it by one. Do we still? We don't have the Emperor bonus anymore, so I can't recruit him on a very nice stack. Hmm. Well, the army is going to have to sit here for a turn. We might rush it next turn. You can see the Emperor bonus is gone and our income has just tanked. Who's the unhappy people? You guys. You guys are bouncing back, right? Lack of purpose. You guys just won a heroic victory. Are you guys not celebrating? Alright, that should be fine. Tongwu, we can't do much build up. We'll wait till the rebel wants to attack us. The rebel have stopped wanting to attack us. We have a reserve issue, which is going to kill all population. That's just really sad how we just get hit with that reserve the next six turns. Mm, do we want to raise an army just to clear that out? Give Zhang Fei something to do, maybe. So we'll proxy with her. We'll let him lead. Zhang Fei will also join. Nicole. And why don't you get a couple levels as well? And our son's leading just because he's got the best capture chance here. Alright. Now that's done. Uh, probably gonna be ha something happening over here. We'll make her probably need to level up. The lumberyard's no longer a frontier thing. Although upgrading the bamboo all the way up does give us construction time discount, it requires us to have industrialist, which I think we can get if we get a level four um, state workshop, which we don't have the reform for yet, but we will. Artisan. Mm, I guess we'll get this first for income and also for better defense here. Any new factions? Nope. That's actually a relief to hear. Anyone we can mess with? Wait. Yeah, no. No one we can mess with. Depends on what happens with Tal Tal. We could recall him, just take him. Yujin's quite useful with his gold weapons. And then we can take a look to see if we can get other guys, because it seems very difficult to convince any of Tal Tal's generals to leave unless Tal Tal, you know, himself dies. Which would be another tragedy for us to endure. Anyways, uh, let's continue here. Alright, Liu Chuan wants to personally have a taste of Zhao Yun's uh, empty fort. Um, sure, he can definitely do so. This time, they have no fire. The lady with the fire got executed. We might show this, because I think we can beat them with, within the 40 minutes, so we don't actually have to waste the 40 minutes. So, let's just beat them, give them a nice defeat, see if we can capture Liu Chuan here. Alrighty, we're loaded in. Um, we want them to actually leave the battlefield, or hide somewhere. Uh, both options are fine, but I think we're just going to ask them to leave. There is a cavalry unit, I believe, in his retinue. Yeah, it's behind. So we'll leave them something. Alright, let me put this out here and then do the alt thingy. See, the alt thingy is still weird. I'm, I'm doing the alt right click. You, you see how it rotates onto the point as the center axis? 
Like, I would prefer if it's not the cent- I mean, I'm just complaining about minor stuff, but... Like, the idea is, like, when you want to place, you tend to grab the top left corner, but when you do the alt left click, a uh, right click, it, it shows where you want the center to be. It, and when you let go, it doesn't- doesn't drop. Oh my god, it doesn't work. That's not bad. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll go out with you guys. I'll escort you guys off the battlefield. Because we are gentlemen. <laughs> and you guys can can just, just turn around and go. Leave. It's not an empty fort if it's not empty. Alright, you guys go on. I'm gonna go greet our prince. He has a hundred speed. He's faster than us. We gotta be careful. Hi, I'm right here. Go, 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 go. Oh, three times speed. This, yeah, definitely. Uh, they're gonna fire their trebuchets. Oh, they are shooting at us, right? He has that crossbow. Leave. Now we're alone. Sneak around. Yes, come inside. We, we do want to come inside. Ah, guess what? You guys are alone now. Charge! Kill the trebuchets. Ow. Yeah, we don't want to get shot too much. Oh, they're sending cavalry right at us. Run, 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 run. Hmm, the forest in this terrain is interestingly placed. It's at the corner of this and then two sides, so less open space. How many cavalry died here? A few. I'm not going to recapture it now. I'm going to leave them just using these for a little bit. I don't really want them to go inside yet, so... I think we're going to wipe out that cavalry unit. It's probably the only unit that can threaten us. Yeah, they didn't go inside, so now I can make that full turn. Oh no no no. Guys, 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 think think about think about think about No. Don't take the shortcut. Oh, they left fast enough so that they didn't capture it. Guess we'll have to lead you back. units in this cap two units yet they're still not routing all right we're gonna stand right here real quick i'm gonna gamble that we have enough time to capture this three two one get shot there we go we're good now the point is like sure we captured it but they're gonna capture it back Hey, that's a trebuchet right there. Maybe still get some of those units. Well, this is actually quite an interesting place because they have to, you can't walk through it. So it's going to be like a kind of a loop here. I can circle people around here if we want, but I actually want to kill all the units. I don't want to waste the 40 minutes. Come on, guys. Work with me here. There's too many trees. That's the problem. Not that I would be willing to duel him, but I just want to see if he's brave enough. And this time we don't mess it up. We're just going to stand all the way straight, straight, all the way straight. 
let them walk that full path with the towers. Yeah, you see us. She's gone. They're not knocking out the cavalry. Spear guards are kind of gone. By now this time they're not going to take the shortcut. Now I can just take that dog back. See, that worked out well. We need more, a few passes like that, we can get this done. Yeah, stay in the open like that. Perfect, perfect. Right now we wanna be standing somewhere here, so they take the full blunt of that tower. Instead of going inside, although the trees, the trees is the problem. But I feel like we should almost capture this right now. And is there any way we can convince you guys to not go in? Going in is a bad idea. No. Oh, so close for them to not capture that. These, these are the ones we want. Nice open field. Come on, there's no way they walk back. I, I'm, I'm closer this way. Am I not? I'm right here, guys. I'm right here. There we go. There we go. Alright, this pass should wipe out most of them. And then, if not, we have that pass. Now, it'd be nice if the towers can focus on the range unit, because... Or else, once all the infantry are gone, they go berserk and they just charge us. Alright, the cavalry's gone. It's just no troll charging us at the end. Which I think we can handle. They're gone. After this path, it's, it's done. Didn't take the full 40. I think that's, that, that's the goal here. That doesn't want to duel me. Bringing them back. Peekaboo. Behind you. Alright, we're not going anywhere. I've dismounted. Fight me! Why do we somersault? Like, forward roll that? He's also unbreakable, so we have to chase him down. Why am I doing this on foot? Because you hit faster on foot. I'm trying to use our better attack speed to just kill him. He hasn't returned hit yet, so there we go. Draw your mission accomplished. Alrighty, we got the close victory because we got those reinforcements, which we didn't need. She's back again. We're going to release her again. Or we could just execute a force another general onto the field. That's usually probably a good idea. But I want the money, so... And she doesn't have fire arrows, so she's a pretty good strategy just to let them keep. Ah, the Nanman forces have finally arrived. And they can have a taste of this as well. First time dealing with them, so I don't know what to expect, actually. 
Well, let's just see what they do. Alrighty. Get a different music vibe here with the Naman forces. Um, feels like they're giving us this corner this time to kind of use. So we're going to run these guys to safety over there. This is our main force. Uh, we're going to break out here. And just loop around them. I think that's the goal here. I'm not going to use any of the deployables. You guys go hide. Maybe in the forest. And then we're going to just leave here. We're not taking any duels, by the way. Alright, we're just going to shower them with arrows, because that's what we have. I think this group might get wiped out before they meet the main group. Just gonna harass them a little bit. Oh, they didn't even go inside. Big mistake, boys. Big mistake. That was your chance to maybe last in this battle. I take care of my innocent garrison first. Alright, just hide, hide here. And let us take care of the rest. Yeah, Naman forces have no cavalry, so it's like they can never catch us. If they have tigers, uh, it could be something, but I think Zhurong's still a faction. She hasn't got confederated by anyone, so unless we're at war with her, which we are not, she's usually the southernmost one. Uh, we don't have to worry about it. Now, I don't want to leave them away from the towers, because that's actually where most of our damage is going to go through. So we're just going to loop them back. Just sit here, look pretty. Look at all the dead on the ground. There's a nice cluster of arrows here, so we're just gonna let them like this this zone is pretty much kill zone right here in this corner. We got one, two, three, four, kind of covering this little area right here. to go so wide. It's harder to run away <laughs> if it's so wide. Yeah, the units that are standing here are doomed. Now, we do have to loop them kind of like this, which means some of them will actually leave the fire range. It's not ideal, but because we have so many units, it's actually kind of hard for us to move around. I'll give them a boost so I can shortcut this without getting killed with enemy fire. Wow, well, your range is not that bad. Oh, they're just not firing because we have 100% right, which is why we did that. Now, which one of these Naman generals do I want to capture? Ahui Nan definitely is a great choice. I wonder if they have Brent. Can't tell. How many ammo do they have? 82. I'm guessing there's a Brent officer here somewhere. Maybe even multiple ones. 82 is quite a lot of ammo. I think the Slinger starts out with a lot of ammo, but 82 feels ridiculous. Look at these little arrows getting there. Another one gone. Now 
next. And then there were five axe units. Nothing on us. It's so sad. No horses trying to catch unit on horseback. It's just impossible. Alright, three axe units. That one's dropping so fast. We're gonna put them in this corner as much as we can, right here. See how fast they die. We have forced them to the ocean. Surely they cannot be seahorses too. We're definitely not seahorses. Anyone unbreakable? Ah, Aquinan's unbreakable, so we're gonna probably have to kill him with a charge at the end. Which will cause some casualties, but it'll be okay. The moment has come. All units, charge. You guys need to clean the horses. This is supposed to be a pristine white horse unit. He's looping us right now. Uh, hold on, everyone, everyone. Size him up, size him up. He's. Alright, now let's go. Friendly fire! The tower shots. Alright, we should probably give them unbreakable and 100% block chance soon. He might die before then, though. Now I'm just giving him a couple more whacks. Alright, make sure the tower doesn't kill us. Look at that arrow just bounce off of us. Oh, he's trying to charge out. Oh no! We got him. There we go. Alright, Naman Generals, give it a shot, and we'll take some money from them as well. Alright, I'm surprised we didn't capture anyone. Ooh, Bandit General. Decent. Uh, ambitious Administrator. Ooh, Burnt Bandit General. Well, it's just Burnt General in general. It's good. And she's willing to spy. So we got ourselves another Burnt General. Modest, patient, stern. He's okay. We could... Oh, but he's not willing to spy, so... There's dangers there. I'm thinking Zhao Yun's army... Can turn aggressive here. Uh, 
下植于地，上蚕于天。And what we can do with them is have them take that for us. Um, we're going to. How far can we move to keep 50%? No, nowhere. Okay, so we're just going to encamp here to keep us safe. And then we'll just take these and use Jolyon as the defense against whatever might come. And that way we can expand into the land that we want and still be okay. We got more waves coming, but I think Tung can hold given our current situation. Creative. Not really going to matter for us at this point. Now we're going to march. Probably save us about one turn. Time to kick Adobe out of our lands. And then Taoying's faction too. I need to finish this, so there's at least some units here um this is not ideal uh, i don't think i need to say that but i think i think we can use Zhang Fei and them to give them a cheap recruitment here it's not going to be too expensive even without the 20 percent from the emperor just simply because we have Li Ling's vanguard uh, inspector that's going to reduce a lot of the price so it's going to be Zhang Fei. I think Yang Feng was pretty decent. And our new administrator here. So you have the administrator set, that's fine. You're going to get to hold Guan Yu's blade again. And you have your whole set already. And you're going to get. Three, see the price difference. We bought, we bought six of, we bought six of them with this price last time. That's the savings. But uh, we can't complain here. We take whatever we can get. Still pretty cheap, to be fair. And he's gonna get recalled, so they'll be ready next turn. Right, someone took Guan Yu's weapons. Oh, the standard Guan, uh, Guan, Guan Dao is not available. Interesting. No, no, no. Don't put... Why can I... I'll just keep it for now. Also, he's on cooldown, so it's kind of weird. Yujin has arrived. He's not entirely happy because the crushing defeat still weighing on him. Similar to Zhang Fei's situation. He brought us some interesting units. Two Qingzhou units, three Qingzhou units. We'll probably keep this. I'll probably keep all three. They're not that great, but they're not terrible. And we'll deploy him when we still have this discount going on sometime this year. Zhao Yun's moved up. Gong Sundan's moved up. Yan Baihu's moved up. All right, the rest of the money we'll try to spend on development. Southern Jiana has finally tiered up. Now, has they been waiting for this moment to assault us? But they're terribly weak, so I don't know what they can actually do. We'll upgrade that first, put a building there. I don't think we need to go for any corruption reduction at this point, so we'll just go for income. Tom will can't be really moved. Over here we'll get our... Oh, we don't have enough money. Then we'll get a state workshop first, then. We won't go so heavily into... Ah, uh, we probably should. We probably should. Alright, no one interesting. I guess we'll just upgrade this then. Yeah, that's fine. Should we march him? No, there's enough movement here to make it, so we don't need to really do anything fancy. Is he ever going to siege us? Don't know. They're gone. They're not doing much, but that's fine. Keeping us very happy. So let's continue. Alrighty, winter season. Interesting trait. Um, I mean, it's good because he might actually get a leadership position in the future. No army, please. No army, please. No army, please. 
Yes, no army. So, we can just delegate this for easy win. We got ourselves some tea. Very low level tea. But we'll take it. Yeah, I don't care about that. No armies around, so everyone can come back for a round of healing. Zhao Yun can sit still. And we will get that upgraded. That's going to take all our money away. <gasps> huh. Surprised that he has an army there. Not exactly an army I can beat, but we can use his, his, what he's doing to us, to him, by asking him, do you want to fight us in camp? Bong Zhong is here. Uh, we're going to lose that. Because Zhao Yun can't be everywhere. Or we can head back and defend it. Defending is really not the best move in the game. Uh, because AI can just keep pumping out armies. So you want to stay on offense. But in this case, I think it's fine. We defend against this army. Kind of help them out as well. Because this is more pressure than I thought they were going to face. Um, there seems to be nothing going on here anyways. And it can wait, basically. Yeah, basically it can wait. Oh, they put the Lumberyard to siege. Well, I can't break the siege. I can let them... F Actually, let's see what the delegate value is. Right, I thought so. And we finally caught someone. Nanjong Champions. Um, not a bad unit. He doesn't have any items on him. I will take the hundred. So I want to capture Duosu. She's unbreakable. Try us now. Alright, we got some money from winning fights, which means we can spend them somewhere. Hopefully, somewhere. No, we cannot spend them anywhere. What about spies? Taishutsu, <sighs> we need money. Give me cash. Um. Who needs tea right now? He summoned him onto the field, and I think he still feels the crushing defeat, which is all oh, smart. Let's uh, why can't I wait? Why can't I do any action? Oh, he's on cooldown. Okay, he's on cooldown. Did he lose another fight? Why is he on cooldown? He got fired then. That's my other guess. No, still the crushing defeat. Okay, so here's the thing. Once he comes back from cooldown next turn, where I can use action, he'll be 100 points here. I'll trade some points over. I'm going to mess him up. Recall him. Grab him. And we're good. Sounds like a plan. Alright, in the meantime, let's end turn. I think we're good everywhere. Yeah, Zhao Yun can continue to push over here, get ourselves the armor smith. And then we're neighboring this huge... I mean, it's going to be hard to defend for Zhao Yun. Um, we're going to have to see where the AI like to attack, and then have Zhao Yun set up the defense there. Just because we're trying to be very greedy and grab these land early. Um, over here, we might actually have a real legit fight. We'll see what the AI feel about taking us in the garrison. Like, there's quite a big army here, so I guess they might shy away from coming to attack us, but if they shy away, we attack them next turn. So we'll see what happens. Let's uh, continue. Oh, they decided to take the encampment fight here. I mean, not surprise, but still, they're in for a surprise. Uh, the tribuchet is all dead, right? Those will get destroyed during the siege, initial siege. 
they're not going to have any fire arrows on these units. So there's not going to be any burning of our encampment, which is great. He has a gold weapon. Wow. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, let's just fight this. Invisible units for the win. Alrighty, so. They decide to attack from three sides. Trying to render our siege weapons a bit useless. Now, can I get them behind? I think the 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 zone is like locked onto the edge, so I can't actually Vanguard deploy them anywhere except for inside and slightly outside, which I don't see a point. So which group would we like to pound to death before they get into us? I guess maybe set this forest on fire. Okay, we will stand back here. Oh my god, it's hard to fit the units. There we go. And just let them go to town. Um, everyone else who are invisible need to get out. Get out of dodge. Uh, you guys who are not invisible. Hmm. Interesting task. Guozhou is actually faster. So, I guess we'll just leave as well. You will also leave. These we will place. We'll place a ton of them. I'm, I'm envisioning them charging at our siege weapon, so they're probably going to enter and then favor this side. And then the last two we're just going to straight up set them up here. No fire though. You two are a little bit different, because you two are not invisible. Hmm. Turn that off. And I'm actually going to have them run away here. While they're invisible. Oh, no one take duels. I think we're ready. Run that way. Um, three, where are we hiding? I guess we're just hiding straight in front. You two will go somewhere else. And time for me to take over, you guys. Yeah, I'm trying to set some fire in the forest. Let these guys run in and take care of me. As many shots as we can get out of this. Call him four or five, six, six is fine. Oh, look at those cavalry not coming over here, but going straight down the middle. I am not going to burn my own town, so we're not going to fire anywhere near our own area. Even if we have a hard time hitting them, we're just not going to do that. But we are going to poison volley this group, making that tight turn. Hello guys! Right behind you. You look good. Come on, don't take your sweet time. Cavalry's coming. Oh, you just want to hit the cavalry, huh? They're done. Alright guys, remember their sacrifice. Now everyone everyone's gonna be invisible very soon on the map. That poison volley did a pretty good number there. Now they're starting to capture that one. A lot of cavalry on this side. None of our traps worked. Did any of them run over here? Oh no, this group worked. Okay. Those cavalry got too smart and didn't come over here. 
Let's see, they did how much damage? 25 kills, 0 kills on that one. You guys... I don't know what to tell you guys. You guys are in a bad spot. Don't expose my units. Find another good shot on them. Just, just go. Go here, even. They're making a home for them, themselves in there. We can definitely get a couple of duels. We have better equipment than they do. Oh, well, actually, no. He has a gold weapon. And Chen Pu is a pretty good duelist too, so maybe not. Is she willing to fight us? No, she's smart. She wants to live. The cavalry's right there. I can't really just go stand there and capture that. We're gonna have to watch them leave. They're moving super slowly though. Small tower's doing a great job, so that's good. I guess we could sneak to the side to get the Mamali across like that. We're not chasing them, so that's that's a pleasant surprise. I'm gonna call them one. You guys can be like six. Never gonna use you guys again here. Alright, they're moving out. Which is probably our opportunity to recapture some towers. We'll let them move out. They see the two generals. Wow. Those trees are not dense enough, I guess. Yeah, lead them across these guys. Let them take some shots. And as they move out, we'll go behind and capture that so that on the way back, Get shoot them a couple times. Meanwhile, we still have a force chilling over here. They didn't lose that many. Each class about half. I was expecting much worse. I thought they were gonna just get annihilated. All right, they're gonna take a pretty nice shower here. I don't have to. Oh, the cavalry might go into the forest. So I guess we do have to start tracking them back. Your encampment's under attack. A ninja bandit's capturing it. You guys don't know that I'm here capturing it because I'm still invisible, but somehow all of you guys have turned around. Now allow me to go somewhere else. I don't want to kill my stand on my own traps. Although he killed the all yeah, they all well, except for these two. It's a decent placement. It's probably one of our better ones. Wait, did we step on? No, we didn't. We didn't. We're just kind of stuckish. They don't exactly see us. Oh, I'm not gonna step on that. Then they really don't see us. They're like, we know they went this way. We will go get them. Alright, the last one we want to capture. I think they're moving slowly because they're waiting for the last unit, and the last unit's moving slowly because they're poisoned. <laughs> so now they're getting dragged in front. Alright, they took all the cavalry, which means this is pretty good for Poison Volley here. Coming back? Maybe. Oh, they see us now. Mm, not enough lift in the shots, but not too bad. Bye guys. 
I'm going that way. Yes, come inside. Okay, a lot of them died. That one didn't get wasted. I'm invisible again? I want to kill, shoot them at the turn. Oh, they, they discovered them again. How do you discover them every time? My invisible units are just like... How do you bump into them by accident? Like, how, how did this general find them? Alright, I'm not gonna see them get slaughtered again, so I'm gonna just, like, run them off the field before they make it to them. And in the meantime, try to catch up and shoot another volley across the board. Go, go, go. Get out. Get out. Hmm, which unit do we select? You. No, I don't like that one. I like this one better. Alright, we got the four shots out. Let's go. Just keep going, keep going. Get off the field. You guys used up your ammo anyways. Why don't you guys shoot a unit that's actually still on the field and fighting? Alright, you're out of ammo too. You guys are not. Come on, let's go. They're out of cavalry. Go capture us a couple of these. How many cavalry do we kill? Two? Okay. Alright. It's something. Oh, they still have one cavalry left. Ah, uh, 12 units. Not a big deal. No one's unbreakable, so that's good. We're here to poison you guys again. Why are we still hidden? We don't have snipe. Oh, now, now they see us. Okay. Oh, we need to get out. Why are we still standing here? No, don't capture it. I see oh, the slow from the poison. And then we just charge him. Be suppressed, we, we wreck him. Actually, we should charge Huang Gai. He would be how we, these cavalry would be how we kill him. Let's do it. It's our chance. We'll come join it. We'll come too. Oh, he has a smash? Ow. Alright, we'll take the win. See how many we can capture here. We took some casualties there with that smash. And how many did we capture? That's the big question here. They dropped the item. That's at least something for us. Two items. Chen Pu. Not willing to work for us, but maybe we get some fondness. 
me and you not willing to work for us, but I like... I would just get the money. I might want to take replenishment here because we are not in friendly territory. Yeah, we'll take it. Alright, look at that. Sun Quan has claimed this and moved the army out, so that means he has another army here. Sun Quan's back on the field with Zhou Tai. Okay, we love to get him. And he has another stack here, so I'm guessing four armies from Sun Quan here, one full stack from Liu Bei. And we're going to take them on next turn, um, or next episode, uh, this turn. And this army is kind of in trouble. We're going to have to find some way to get them out. Uh, we can obviously cross the river, spend a turn, and then just recall the whole army. That's one way we can do it. Or we can have them stay here and just fight it out. Um, it's not that bad. The movement's kind of constrained, so our supply is also going to be an issue. We'll see what the Faction Council can give us in terms of aid. And elsewhere on the map, Cao Cao might have his shot at Zhao Yun. We might just put ourselves out there to let him fight us, or we might have a shot at Cao Cao to try to grab Xia Hodun and Lady Bian. Now, he's leading, so the you know satisfaction um, crushing defeat is not going to affect him, which is a bit unfortunate. If he have any of them leading, it would be a different story. They're trying to siege us out, which is very, very smart. But can they actually beat us in the delegate? No. So I'll, I'll take this right off the bat. Because I don't want to stay in the siege. And... Traits. Execute. Alright, we'll use that as our save. Um, I might recall mom to heal her. That's fine, actually. This is a little bit of a bad situation for us just because the garrison's slowly... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, this one. That's pretty healthy. Never mind. The, the range units are healthy, but the captains are not. This guy is not... I think he's completely dead or he's fully... Level 8. Hmm. Well... It's fine, I guess. Um, elsewhere, a little bit of pressure here. Feels like Sun Quan put all his eggs in one basket here in Wuling, and we'll be um, beating him here. I think once we beat him here, maybe we can just start taking all his land, because I feel like all his armies are here. There should be four, because someone took that for sure. And uh, they're here. So it's not them. It's someone who used up all their movement to take that. So maybe Sun Quan himself. And we are not, not exactly in the best situation, but not too bad. So... We'll see how things goes, and uh, see you guys all next time. Bye!